Hello, uh, welcome to this customer tutorial for your Dakin user interface. This is a brief uh, overview of the functions of the unit, just to familiarise yourself with it uh, and so you can understand perhaps what your heat pump is doing um, and also the warnings that may come up if there's a fault and uh, what to do about it. So um, this is typically housed in the airing cupboard or wherever the cylinder is in the wiring centre. Uh, or in, perhaps in your plant room. It will have been commissioned or should have been commissioned by a Dakin engineer um, who would have uh, already put the presets in uh, for your property. Uh, most of these the presets do uh, generally work but you may find that you wish to tweak something but on the whole we recommend that you do not touch uh, the user interface other than perhaps to boost domestic hot water uh, function during high use. Uh, so just go over the uh, screen itself um, you have the date and time, LWT main, which is the heating function, which is currently off. This cloud just uh, denotes that there is weather dependence function on this unit, uh, which means uh, that basically as the temperature outside goes down, the temperature out of the heat pump goes up uh, as far as the flow temperature is concerned. Um, so what we'll do first of all is we'll just liven up the screen by pressing the house button. Uh, if we press the house button again, it will switch to the tank screen. So as you can see, you're literally switching between the function of heating and hot water. Both of these are off at the moment, which is also um, noticeable by the fact that the green light is not on. So if I turn this button on here, this has now turned the heating on. It's indicated the desired temperature it wants to do with the current outdoor temperature as it is. Um, and again, just kept its basic function there. If we then go to the tank screen, um, tank is still currently off. You may have wanted to do this while you're on holiday um, or a period of an occupancy of, of, of some sort. Um, and similarly with the heating, you know, if it's the summer, you might want to turn that off. So it's just a case of turning that back on and the tank function will come back on. On this tank screen, uh, typically it is this detailed. This just shows the storage comfort temperature, so the, the reheat uh, temperature which the cylinder will be taken back up to at its next program time of 3 o'clock this afternoon. So it would have done one this morning, probably around 5 a.m. Um, but there will be another one scheduled for this afternoon. Uh, there is also reheat function on this uh, domestic hot water on this, on this system at the moment. So it has actually engaged and is doing hot water automatically uh, because there is a background reheat function which we can explain uh, in another video or should have been explained to you by your, by your uh, heating engineer. These symbols here as well, this just is just to show that uh, heating, sorry, hot water is timed. If you have um, a time of high occupancy and high water usage and you find that you're without hot water, uh, you can actually just push this over to what they call the strongman there and press OK and you can hear there that's engaged the immersion while simultaneously uh, engaging the air source heat pump. So it's um, trying to regenerate the domestic hot water for you as quickly as possible to catch up uh, if you need a sudden boost of hot water. It will uh, drop out uh, after an hour or once it's actually regenerated itself. Um, so if we come back to here, just turn that off and we'll go back to you know, a typical timed function. Um, if we go back to the heating screen, you will not see uh, really anything in regard to what your room stats are doing. So the way that your system is typically designed is that your room stats do all the control of your heating and all the room staff are doing are talking to this unit to actually tell it when to fire to satisfy the room stats. So it is much more important that you familiarize yourself with your room thermostats, and that way you can control your heating a lot better and just leave this heat pump uh, programmed as it is, and it will just come on on demand from your room stats. And of course you have your predetermined hot water already there, which we'll go into in the next video of how to program your domestic hot water.